Hi everybody, it's Nurse McShane. I know we all know how important it is right now especially to wash our hands and do all the other precautions we've been doing to try to keep safe from the coronavirus, but I found a different model and another way to explain it to you. So I thought I'd give you a look at this today. I'd like you to use your imagination and pretend that this is a piece of Swiss cheese. As you could see, the cheese has holes in it. And this is sort of an example of the way we try to take care of our bodies and what we're trying to do right now to protect ourselves from the coronavirus. Each thing we try to do is important, but unless we do them all together, it might not have the whole effect. So this is called the Swiss cheese model. And I want you to pretend that these pieces of cardboard that sort of look like this are pieces of Swiss cheese. So the first one I'd like you to think of as washing your hands. We know how important washing our hands is right now. And every time you wash your hands, you should do it for 20 seconds. And that's our first line of defense in protecting ourselves. The second line of defense is keeping socially distant. And that means staying six feet apart from your neighbor. So you don't wanna be standing right next to them, you wanna be separated. The third line of defense we have is wearing a mask. We all know we have to wear masks in school. You should just be wearing them whenever you're anywhere outside of the house. When you're in the house, it's okay to not wear your mask unless somebody in the house is sick. But when you're out down at the playground or out riding your bike, you should still have your mask on because there's other kids around. And then the fourth line of defense in keeping ourselves and our family safe is when we don't feel good, we should stay home in the house. We shouldn't be going out to school. We shouldn't be going out to sports or anything else. So I just wanted to give you a little example of what this Swiss cheese model really means. So each thing we try to do might have some holes in it, just like Swiss cheese, right? So we're going to pretend that this ugly little rubbery eyeball I skewered on the end of this is the coronavirus, okay? We're going to go through the hand washing and see when we go through the hole of the hand washing, we still might go straight through the hole of socially distance, but it might stop when we get to the mask, wearing our mask, right? Let's try it again over here. We're gonna wash our hands, that's the most important thing we can do, but it could still get through that hole and it might stop at socially distancing. So you could see that's an important step too. And let's try one more time and go all the way through. So we're gonna wash our hands really carefully. We're gonna socially distance from our friends and everybody we're near. This is wearing a mask, it could go right through the mask. But if we stay home when we're sick, we're not gonna pass that virus on to anybody else. So this is why it's really important not to do just one of the things, but to do all of the things we can to try to be safe for ourselves, for our good friends in school, for our teachers, for our family, and for everybody in town. Okay, I hope you can all get on board and do all the things we can do to keep each other safe. Thank you, bye.